What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing a Chuck E. Cheese shirt, it's actually an old shirt that a friend of mine gave me. I know it looks like a costume, so don't mind that. Anyway, that being said, I have some, I have, I have some intriguing Yugi, not Yu-Gi-Oh. No, some intriguing WWE news for you guys, including a Hall of Famer no longer contracted with WWE, a WWE superstar being stripped of his title, and also what and also the what does and also what does the future hold for SummerSlam? So we so we kick things off with a Hall of Famer no longer being contracted with WWE. Who is it you may ask? It is none other than than the icon Sting. Yes. Who excuse me? Yes. Sting is no longer contracted with WWE. And don't and do not mind the dog because our gardeners are our gardeners actually ju just arrived. But yeah, but yes, Sting is no longer contracted with WWE. Uh, big shout outs to to What Culture for these art for the articles that I'll be that I'm gonna be discussing. Uh, this one was by I believe Andy Murray was it. Yes, yes. Shout out to Andy Murray from What Culture. So it says here, professional professional wrestling legend Sting and WWE have seemingly parted ways. Pro Wrestling Sheets Ryan Sten reported on Monday evening that Sting was no longer under contract with the promotion, though there's a chance the two parties may agree a merchandising deal in the future. Recent days have brought much speculation on Sting's Sting status, beginning with the major. With the major wrestling figure podcast reporting that former that the former WCW champion had been pulled from a line of toys with manufacturers Mattel releasing an official statement. AEW's specula AEW speculation was then stoked as Cody tweeted the following in response. So if I'm able to actually, okay, so so I guess so I guess um. So I guess their wrestling, the major wrestling figure podcast uh, official Twitter, I guess, uh, posted a photo of Sting from his W from his WCW days um, as an action figure, and it says it's not Sting, like in not Sting in bold letters, like it's not Sting, you know, you know, like that, like that, basically. Due to circumstances out of our control, out of our control, Sting needed to be removed from. From Legend Legend Series Seven, we'll look to include this figure in a future wave if he becomes available to us again. And Cody, if you guys don't know Cody, Cody Rhodes, we all know him. He posted, I guess, a GIF, a GIF from somewhere, and it it's just a some sort of emoji. I don't know, I don't know, but that's what basically. If if you guys want to check check out that podcast. Uh, Twitter, you guys should de definitely check it out. You'll know what it said. Uh, let's see what else it says. Uh, Sting hasn't wrestled since suffering what seemed a career-ending injury while working with Se while working Seth Rollins at Night of Champions 2015. Yeah, so I actually did a prediction video on that. I, I actually, if I if I remember correctly, that was the very first video I had ever done. The very first video I had ever done on the channel. It was the prediction. It was my prediction video for Night of Champions 2015. You guys can check it out. It is so cringy. Like, it's amazing with how far I've really come over over the last four, four or five years. I mean, I I, I, I know that my subscriber count is low, which honestly that that doesn't matter to me, um, because honestly the only thing that matters to me is producing the content for for you guys to enjoy, which. You know, I mean, as long as I mean, as long as you guys love it, I love it. You know, that's that's all there is to it. But yeah, but yeah, my first, I, I think my first thirty videos, the first thirty videos that I did, were so cringy that every time I would, um, you know, you know, like stutter or something like, because I do stutter from time to time, I literally would have to push the stop button on my camera, delete that video. And then re and, and then redo it again, and I would do that like ten times before I finally get it right. So so yeah, so Night of Champions 2015 was the first video that I did. I believe I predicted Seth Rollins to win to retain the WWE Championship, if I remember right. 
if I remember right, I don't remember. If if you guys saw that video and you guys remember who I predicted between Sting and Rollins, let me know in the comments because I don't remember actually. Uh, continuing on from there, though, the rumors of a Saudi Arabian match surfaced earlier this year. The icon has spoken openly on his desire to compete again, though, though the window may be closing. Sting is now 61 years old and hasn't hit the ring in half a decade. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Sting does next, though he wasn't being used regularly while under WWE contract. As one of Cody's favorite, favorite wrestlers, it's easy to see AEW hitting him up for a non-wrestling appearance or two, though a full-time gig may not be feasible. Okay, so, so, so yeah, so Sting, so if you guys remember, Sting started out in WWE at an early age, I believe... Like somewhere in his twenties, I think, and then over time he won he won so many championships in 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 WCW, and when WCW um, you know slash ECW you know the you know the alliance if you will from from two thousand one after they disbanded, a, there were a lot of ECW stars and a lot and a lot of WCW stars that stayed in WWE state that stayed on the contract with WWE. Everyone else, I believe, went 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 their separate ways with WWE. Like I know that um, I know that Chuck Palum, I I think Chuck Chuck Palumbo stayed with WWE for a couple for about a couple years, and then he went on, and they and then he went on to do do some other things, and then I think in two thousand eight, like right around two thousand seven two thousand eight was when he returned, stayed in WWE for for about maybe a year or two, and then he and then he left again, um, but yeah, but yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of guys who left WWE uh, after that. Uh, after that, and when and when WCW was bought by Vince McMahon in two, in, in two thousand one, uh, Sting just left. His last match in WCW was actually the last episode of Monday Nitro, which, if I remember right, was Sting versus Ric Flair, one of the all time greatest matches of in WCW history, and. Then yeah, so right around 2002, which was when um, which is when the promotion known as TNA started. Uh, that was when Sting Sting resurfaced into the wrestling business and competed there for so many years. You know, from from 2002, I think from tw I think to 20, what was it 2013? If I remember right, I if I remember right, I believe it was 2013, and then 2014, right around there was when he. Uh, was in talks with WWE, and he's been, he's and and he's been with WWE since. But now, but now that he's no longer on on their contract, um, honestly, it remains to be seen what what you know, you know what he does next. But honestly, though, I think um, but I think given 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 the fact that he's that he's that he's sixty that he's sixty one years old, it's it's crazy. It's so crazy to see that. But honestly, though, I mean, I mean, he could have done so much more in in WWE, in my personal opinion. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do a question of the day for this one. If okay, 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 I think I got it. Okay, so if Sting was still under contract with WWE, who would you guys like to see? Who would you guys would want? Would you guys want him to face in in the near future? And I. And you cannot say Undertaker. I know that everybody's gonna. I know that everybody will comment below, saying, saying, saying Undertaker because they're both, you know, you know, mysterious, you know, all that. No, you cannot say that. For me, I think, I, I think honestly, I would love to see Sting and Goldberg again. I, I would love to see to see that because. If you guys remember, um, Goldberg, if I if I remember right, was once a part of the NWO for a cool minute, uh, and then he just disbanded, and did, and decided to do his own thing again. But uh, but again, comment com uh, again comment below. Oh, damn. Anyway, um, anyway, yeah. So hopefully, um, I mean, I hope Sting finds finds happiness because. It, it it remains to be seen, you know, what happens, you know, it remains to be seen what he does next, honestly. Alright, you guys, so now we've, alright, so we found out, 
So, if you guys remember, um, this past Monday on Raw, uh, Becky Lynch relinquished the Raw Women's Championship because she's pregnant. As crazy as it sounds, she is pregnant, and um, I'm just happy for them, for for her and Seth Rollins. It almost broke me down, down. It all, literally, it almost broke me down, down to tears, and I honestly can't wait to see why to see. To see what the future holds for Becky Lynch. I, I, I honestly can't wait. Alright, you guys, that being said, now I'm gonna talk about SummerSlam. So if you guys so if you guys remember, WWE had announced, I believe was it earlier this year or was it late last year? I think it was late I excuse me, I think it was late last year that WWE announced that they were going to um that they were going to host, um, that they were going to host um, SummerSlam at the TD Garden in Boston. However, unfortunately, that may not be that may not be the case anymore because now there's that now now there's speculation that SummerSlam could very may well be pushed back. And I swear this laptop is giving me a migraine. So, shout out to Gareth Morgan for this article. And and the title of, of the article is WWE SummerSlam 2020 Pushed Back? Uh, let's see here. WWE could push SummerSlam back to September. Russell Votes reports. Boston, Massachusetts Mayor Marty Walsh recently revealed that no parades or festivals could be going down inside of the city this summer up to sep up until September 7th in addition Walsh reported that that or that organizations could begin to search for alternatives if their event intended on bringing in a large crowd WWE's SummerSlam 2020 was which was scheduled to take place inside the TD Garden in Boston on on August 23rd definitely falls in, into that category so WWE executives are now reportedly on the hunt for a new location for this year's biggest party of the summer, which could involve fans in attendance, according to Russell Votes. Southern states such as Florida and Georgia have been noted as serious possibilities. Also, WWE could decide, could decide to push back the event to September in order to possibly allow some fans to enter whatever building they eventually decide on. WWE's 2020 Hall of Fame ceremony is rumored to take is rumored to be taking place on the weekend of SummerSlam, and there's still no word on what will happen to NXT Takeover Boston, which was also scheduled to go down inside the Garden. So, okay, so let's so let's think about this for for a moment, because right now, I be, so right now be so right now because that Boston is in the area of of New York. Like right around there, they are they're already high on you know you know they're already they they have a high high amount of cases with with what's been going on in 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 the world today. Um, apparently, I've been hearing rumors that the stay at home order could be pushed back could could, could be pushed back by three months. Which, uh, that's, that is very bizarre. I swear that dog need, I swear that dog need, needs to shut up. Anyway, <laughs> uh, which on, on, honestly is very bizarre. Honestly though, I think WWE is doing, is indeed do, doing the right thing. If the stay at home order, uh, gets pushed back, gets pushed back by three months. Because apparently they were supposed to, because apparently it's supposed to be lifted this Friday, at, 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 at the time of this being posted and recorded, it is May 13th on a Wednesday at 2.13. 2.13 .13 in, in, the, in the afternoon here in California. It could be pushed back by three months, so August 15th. So, by, so, by, so potentially by August 15th. Um, but if it does, I think WWE is doing the right thing by pushing it back another month. To some to possibly September, because truth be told, I think if they kept if they kept it 
he kept it in August. Um, truth be told, I think they may, they could very may well have, um, they, they could be putting not just their roster in jeopardy, but they could be all, they could also potentially put their, um, their, 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 what'd you call it? Their fans also in danger. They could be put, putting the whole world in danger, which is pretty bizarre. Which is which is bizarre, but it, it but it, it 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 makes sense. Um, as for what as for the other locations, I think honestly, yeah, I I, I would have to agree. I would have to say Florida, uh, like possibly Florida, uh, maybe Georgia, somewhere on there, uh, because I've been hearing rumors that the governors of Georgia and Florida have slightly, not fully, but just slightly lifted up. The, the safer at home order and um we could see that happen we could see that happen but you never know you never know honestly though i think again again so again going back to to um you know you know to what's been going on in, in the world i think wwe is doing is doing the right thing by not hosting SummerSlam in boston because of the fact you know you know because of what's going because of what's going on in the world they could potentially Put their roster um, in danger. All right, you guys. So we found. All right, you guys. So with that being said, we found out that a champ, that a certain champion, has been stripped of his title. Who is it? And if you haven't guessed already, it's actually Sami Zayn. So, if you guys remember, back in February, at the Elimination Chamber, Sami Zayn goaded, literally he goaded, Braun Strowman into a three-on-one handicap match for the Intercontinental title. And yes, Sami Zayn, being, being the cunning superstar that he is, um, he tags himself in and picked up, and picked up, picked up the, the scraps of Cesaro and Shinsuke, um... And then of course, so um, so Sami Zayn has so according to this, shoutouts to once again shoutouts to Andy Murray. Uh, Sami Zayn has been stripped of the Intercontinental Title. Um, and then and they, and it, it was actually announced last night on WWE backstage the WWE on Fox official Twitter. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue. Don't mind the, don't, again, don't mind the dog. If you, if you, if you hear the dog, don't mind it. Um, so WWE on Fox posted on Twitter, uh, saying, saying, breaking news: Sami Zayn is unable to compete and, and defend the Intercontinental Title. Therefore, WWE has declared the title vacant. A tournament will, a tournament to crown a new, a new champion will begin on, will begin this Friday on Fox. The unable to compete and defend the Intercontinental Championship line refers to Zayn's decision to not work through the ongoing global health crisis. It's currently unclear when SmackDown's great so-called Great Liberator will return, though. Will return, though. WWE had previously given wrestlers the freedom to take take this time off if they felt uncomfortable traveling and working through the ongoing situation. A tournament to crown the next Intercontinental Champion will begin on this Friday's episode of SmackDown. Though the bracket of participants are yet to be revealed, Zayn has been inactive since WrestleMania 36 when he successfully defended the title against Daniel Bryan. Okay, let me just stop right there because he didn't retain the title. He did not successfully defend the title. He cheated. Okay, I I, I just want to point that out. He cheated. Now I know that there's a bunch of Sammy there that there are a bunch of Sami Zayn, you know, fans out there. He cheated. Just saying. Having won it in a three-on-one handicap match, pitting him, Cesaro, and Shinsuke Nakamura against Braun Strowman at Elimination Chamber back in February, which his reign ended at 65 days. Uh, WWE's decision to re to remove the title from a wrestler on an indefinite absence is it's entirely. And, and, and they put this in parentheses. It's entirely possible that Sane may not return until a vaccine is developed. Is un is understandable. 
What's curious, however, is that is that the promotion didn't do the same with Cruiserweight Champion Jordan Devlin, whose division is in the process of crowning an interim champion. Yeah, so because of the fact that, that Jordan Devlin is in Ireland, and the fact that Sami Zayn, I believe, ha I, I believe resides, I, I believe, I believe Zayn resides in Orlando, even though he's from Montreal. It makes per perfect sense. Um, but honestly, though, honestly, though, good riddance. I, I, I don't like Sami Zayn. I am not, I am not a fan of Sami Zayn. So good riddance. Um, I hope we don't see him for another year. I'm just saying that right now. I hope we don't see him for another year, and I hope. You, honestly, you never know. You never know what 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 can happen. Honestly, but anyway, guys. Um, but anyway, so as for who could potentially be in in the tournament, given so so given the fact that that Cesaro, Shinsuke Nakamura, Daniel Bryan, and Drew Gulag are right are are in in the process in a of a rivalry, if you will. Odds are those four men could could potentially be in in the tournament. At the same time, we could also see Baron Corbin in there as well, given the fact that he's that he is a former United States champion as well and a former 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 money money in the bank winner. So, um, honestly, you never know you you never know who who could be in the tournament. But if I had to predict, Shinsuke, Cesaro, Drew Gulak, and Daniel Bryan. I think honestly, those four superstars could potentially be, um, could potentially be the four superstars who will compete in, in the tournament. But guys, that's actually gonna do it for this video. There really wasn't much to talk about, but but honestly, though, these were some important news that obviously, obviously, you guys need to hear. So that's gonna do it for for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on both of my Twitters and my one Instagram. Yes, I do have two Twitters, one for WWE, one for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, the links will be down in the in the description. And and I know and I know that I put this on hold. You know, you know, obviously because what's been going on in the world, but if you guys do have any fan mail that you would like to send me, my my um my address will be in the description below. Um, cause I would love to, I've always wanted to open up fan mail on, why the hell not, why the hell not? And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.